Rohit, the other day after the Southampton knock, you said it was not a typical Rohit Sharma innings. <laughs> what do you call about this one? And did you plan something differently, what you planned in Southampton? No, see, uh, as a batsman, when you are uh, playing where the conditions are going to challenge you, as a batsman, you just got to assess the conditions first uh, because uh, the pitch was under the cover for a long time. Uh, the last two days we were here and uh, the pitch was under the cover and was a little soft as well when we started. So, assessing uh, the crucial uh, phase of the inning, the first phase of the inning was important for us and not to lose wicket at that point was very crucial. So, as a batsman, when you are facing those kind of conditions, your job is to assess and make sure that you know you don't try and lose too many wickets up front because uh, it's when the conditions are like that, it becomes more of a new ball game, uh, you know, and then the opposition can put pressure if you lose a uh, few wickets. So the idea was not to lose wicket and then build a platform and you know try and take the game forward uh, after that. Yeah, Rohit, uh, you have been batting beautifully, two hundreds and uh, fifty. So, what do you at attribute this to? You know, is a brilliant run of form, your preparation, planning, and uh, you're liking the wickets, or uh, what would be the primary reasons? No, I, I think it's just the space I am in right now. It's, it's a very good phase in my life, uh, having a daughter, uh, newly born daughter in my life uh, that actually has put me into a good space. Uh, uh, so, yeah, I think, you know, I'm enjoying my cricket. Uh, uh, coming off from a great uh, IPL campaign and then uh, you know starting off here uh, we always know how important it is to start well so the focus was always on that to start well and then see where the team is heading and then the individual uh, so I think as a team we're heading in the right direction uh, uh, for, for us it is important to just keep ticking all the boxes and I think as a team, we have done that most of the time. Uh, Rohit, uh, can you talk us about how it is to bat uh, at the top of the order with a new partner in KL Rahul and yeah. about what goes behind uh, a decision to on who takes strike first? Because you like taking strike first in ODIs, but you have not done that in the couple of games. Uh, so, can you tell us about that? Yeah, look, I mean, KL also likes to take the strike and for me, it was important uh, to give him that because, of course, uh, him coming off that mindset of taking the strike and playing the first ball, uh, you know, I wanted uh, to make, you know, give him that uh, because he likes to take the first ball. Um, so, yeah, nothing nothing specific into that. Uh, he just likes to take the strike and uh, so I, so am I. Uh, I like to face the new ball. But again, that that is his comfort. He is playing his first game as an opener here. so. I wanted to make sure that he is comfortable. Rohit, can you talk about Kuldeep, like uh, how this tournament has gone for him? And you, you, today you also kind of gave him some advice when he he was bowling his best, possibly, you might agree, uh, so far in the tournament this match. Yes, yeah, Kuldeep is someone uh, who needs a lot of confidence uh, uh, before uh, going into his spell. Uh, so, all as a team, we've been talking about him that how. Uh, Bigger of a match winner he's been for us in the last <coughs> year or so. Uh, he's probably what 48 games and almost 90 wickets. That is almost two game, two wickets per game. Uh, that's that's hell of a record for uh, for a spinner. Uh, and most of the wickets has come outside subcontinent for him. So he's our match winning bowler. Uh, you know, in that middle over phase. And today also you saw how important those crucial wickets were. Both the batsmen were set. And uh, of course, I mean, he didn't start the tournament the way he would like to, but you know, for us as a group around him, our job is to just make sure that he gets that confidence, he gets that backing from the team. And uh, you know, he understands his bowling really well as well. Uh, you know, so it's just about giving him that confidence, uh, making sure that he knows that you know, he's one of our premier bowlers. Uh, and we've done that, and you know, when, when you do that as a team, the individual always wants to step up, uh, you know, and I think he did it today. Uh, Ra uh, Rohit, just a follow-up on Rahul's question. Uh, you were batting with him for the first time. Obviously, there was some miscommunication and all that. 
So what are the challenges of batting with a new partner and building a communication when you have batted with one guy for so yeah. long and have developed such a good understanding? What are the challenges for you? Yeah, I mean, the, these are the sort of challenge you face, uh, you know, the understanding, uh, you know, when he wants to run that two, when I want to take that single and things like that. These are very small little things, but of course, eventually it adds up uh, uh, to a whole lot for the team uh, because at that point we never wanted to get run out uh, that was the last thing in our mind to uh, do that but yeah that are, those are the challenges uh, understanding the partner what he's trying to do what is going on in his head at that point is he trying to take single or you know trying to go for a big shot so you, as a non striker you got to be ready for all of that but we had a lot of communication uh, today while we were batting uh, so uh, you know Slowly, we will build on it. Now that I know he's going to open for the next uh, few games as well, so you know that conversation between us is really, really important. And um, I hope that continues uh, because it's going to only help uh, both of us. And uh, openers uh, starting well uh, is very, very important. We know that, so you know we, that will play a big part uh, in coming games. What did you make of the atmosphere in the ground today, particularly at the start? Uh, it was pretty electric from where we were. Yeah, it was. It was always going to be like that. Uh, we knew that. Uh, you know, when when you play a game against Pakistan, it's always going to be like that. But I think the crowd was evenly poised. Fifty-one uh, percent Indians, forty-nine percent Pakistan. I would say. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, see the crowd. Uh, you know, they come here for entertainment and. Uh, Probably, uh, you know, we uh, were really good today as a team and we wanted to get those two points, uh, you know, having washed out our previous game. So, we were quite keen to get onto the park and, you know, display our skills because off late we've been in good form. So, we just wanted to continue and have a full game. Rohit, uh, two questions. One is, is it the most satisfying uh, ODI 100 out of your 24 hundreds because it's blew Pakistan apart. And number two, there was so much noise in the galleries. Did you hear Rahul clearly or you use sign languages while running? I know most of the time I did hear him uh, because, uh, of course, uh, you, both of us have played uh, under immense uh, pressure of the crowd. Uh, you know, whenever we play in India, there's 30,000 plus, I think, here as well. Um, crowd uh, will be there and they will be at their loudest uh, but yes uh, it is our duty to make sure that the communication is nice and easy and we understand sometimes you cannot hear but you just have to uh, look at your partner and see what he's trying to do and you know just that one glance is enough I guess uh, to understand whether he's trying to take that single or not uh, but you know playing after a long time with him so of course there was uh, was going to be some miscommunication that happens in every game that you play but hopefully uh, in, in the future we will make sure that uh, those uh, lapses don't happen quite often and I, 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 I mean see every hundred I'm sure if I get a hundred another game you'll ask me the same question is was this satisfying <laughs> I don't know it's very hard to put uh, any knock uh, on the top because all those knocks you play uh, for your country is really, really important and all those hundreds are very, very important. So, I, it's very tough for me to put one up there. Rohit, um, this match was really hyped, um, but you ended up winning it very easily. <coughs> Probably put the easiest win India's had over Pakistan in a major tournament. What was it about Pakistan that made it so straightforward for you today? I. I mean, I, rather than talking about them, I, I think we were really, really good today with the bat and with the ball. Uh, yes, we were under pressure uh, when they were batting. They had a partnership there. Uh, but that is the skill of our spinners. Uh, you know, whenever uh, the, the opposition have string long partnerships, big partnerships, these guys have come and gotten us uh, those breakthroughs. Uh, so, I think we were really good with the bat and uh, with the ball. I. I can't really see into what uh, Pakistan did wrong. Right. A lot was written in the build-up to the game about the political situation between the two countries, but in the crowd it was really friendly and there seemed to be a lot of respect between the two teams. Is that a fair assessment? 
Yeah, I guess so. See, whenever we played against each other, it's always been like that. Uh, I don't know what uh, it seems from the outside, but uh, you know, we we are playing on a, a, a the game against another opposition. Uh, for for us, it's pretty simple. We are here to win the game, uh, not look at the opposition, whether it's Australia, South Africa, England, or Pakistan. Uh, for us, it doesn't matter. We are here uh, on a mission, and our focus is to make sure that uh, you know we. And com- accomplish that mission. Uh, uh, all the outside talk and all that will keep happening. Uh, but for us, it's just to focus on the job at hand and make sure we get the job done at the end of the day. Okay. Right, as a, a Pakistan journalist, I will congratulate you for Thank your you. Be- beautiful 100. Thank you. And you have captured all the match. Really, we are very happy that we have seen today a beautiful inning. Thank you. I will ask about you uh, for the Pakistan. Pakistan team is under crisis for a long time. As a colleague, what would you suggest to Pakistan batsmen how they can come out from this crisis? If I Pakistan coach, I will tell you. Uh, Rohit, uh, considering the kind of pitch it was, as you said, that uh, it was a bit soft in the beginning and the conditions were such, like, uh, were you pleasantly surprised to get so many short balls, like the n- amount of cuts and pull shots that you played today? Like, uh, were you a bit uh, like, like pleasantly surprised with the kind of balls that the, the Pakistanis bowled, mainly Hassan and Wahab? Um, I, yeah, I mean, see, I, I don't know what happens in their team meeting, uh, whether it's to bowl up or to bowl short, I don't know. But I mean, that's, they they bowled, uh, I guess, pretty well in the first half. Uh, I mean, the first 10 overs, they bowled pretty well. Uh, uh, they started off really well, I would say. And then, of course, we know in England, uh, once, once you're in, it's very hard for the bowlers uh, uh, to come back and there's not enough room for uh, error. If you make error, you're going to get punished. That is pretty simple. We've seen it over the years uh, in this part of the world. Uh, of course, certain uh, games, uh, certain conditions will challenge you as a batsman. But it did us. It did uh, in the initial phase because uh, uh, the shot making wasn't that easy. Uh, but uh, I really can't read into what was going in their mind, whether to bowl up or to bowl short. Uh, they did bowl up as well, a uh, uh, fair amount, but then again, uh, as a batsman, you're ready to just pounce on it when given uh, or bowl to your strength. So I think which was my strength to bowl when, you know, someone bowls short to me. Um, but yeah, I guess that is what it is. भैया बड़े मैच में रोहित शर्मा को क्या हो जाता है जैसे अमिताभ बच्चन से भी ज्यादा बड़ा रोल आप प्ले करते हो इतने 30000 लोगों को एंटरटेन करते हो ये क्या हो जाता है रोहित शर्मा को नहीं सर जब भी आप ये टी-शर्ट पहन के खेलते हो तो आपको अपना ए गेम आगे लाना पड़ता है आ, क्योंकि ये और ये वर्ल्ड कप है इतने 4 साल से वेट करते हैं वर्ल्ड कप का तो ये जब भी मौका मिलता है तो कोशिश हम लोग यही करते हैं कि आपका जो भी बेस्ट गेम है वो सामने लाना लाने की कोशिश करते हैं तो आई थिंक आज भी हमने वही किया मैंने पिछले दो मैच में क्या किया है मैंने कभी सोचा नहीं था क्योंकि मेरे लिए फ्रेश गेम था ये फ्रेश गेम क्योंकि एज एज अ स्पोर्ट्समैन आपको ऐसे ही सोचना चाहिए कि हर दिन नया दिन है तो वैसे ही आप अपना परफॉर्मेंस रेस कर सकते हो तो मेरे लिए भी थॉट प्रोसेस वैसे ही होता है कि जब भी नया दिन है तो नया दिन है आपने पीछे क्या किया है कितने सारे रन बनाए और या कितने सारे रन नहीं बनाए वो मेरे लिए मैटर नहीं करता नया दिन नया दिन है तो नया दिन में हम कोशिश करते हैं कि एक और बड़ा परफॉर्मेंस करने की